Okay, AMD has done something that I think is very interesting and they are kind of smart about it. Now, this actually is something that was unexpected from AMD and that is they announced a new GPU. But it's not what you think, unfortunately. We are talking about the all new Radeon RX 7400, which yes, this is a GPU using the last generation of GPUs from AMD. Even though we are currently in the 9000 series, we have a new 7000 series GPU from AMD. Now this GPU, do keep in mind, is not high spec. This is not for those that are power hungry for you know, a powerful GPU. Instead, this is actually going to be more targeted towards the likes of budget gamers and even streamers, which we will talk about later in this video. So let's get to what you need to know about this all new GPU from AMD. Now first, let's talk about some of the specs. Now this actually has some interesting specs to it, I'll definitely say. So it does feature 28 RDNA 3 compute units, which yes, this will have RDNA 3 support. So yes, it's still gonna be using the last generation, but I mean, at least you have a bit of AI assistance with this GPU. Now not just that, but it also has 1,792 streaming processors, 28 ray accelerators, and 56 AI accelerators. So yes, despite this having the lowest spec out there, it can still do things with ray tracing. Now yes, this GPU is in fact marketed as a 1080p type of GPU, especially for gaming. Ben, let's be honest, what is this GPU mainly going to be targeted for? Well, let's just say, if you are someone that is maybe new to PC builds, this will be a good GPU for those that wanting to get started in the PC world, because let's be honest, Building PCs is not the most cheapest thing out there. In fact, average GPUs out there are over $300 or even for the likes of $500. And that's just the GPU. You still obviously get the likes of the processor. You guys still get the case and, you know, every single component you need for a PC. So this is actually going to be a good introduction for those that are new into the PC world. Now, not just that, but this is also going to be a good way to actually get light gaming, especially for those that are wanting to play the likes of some esports titles with the likes of Valorant, CSGO, maybe some light gaming with Fortnite even with very light specs, which, I mean, most people do play games like that. I'm not judging. And obviously, if you want to play some casual games with the likes of Minecraft even, this is going to be more for those that are wanting to have some basic gaming experiences. They don't want top of the range specs, they just want something that can allow them to, you know, just play some games on the side, which is a nice thing to have. But not just that, but this is also a smart tactic from the likes of AMD to make a GPU for streamers. Now let's be honest, not everyone's going to be, you know, the top streamer out of the likes of XTC and all that, where they have, you know, six consoles and all that, but this is actually going to be smart for those that do also utilize a streaming PC. Because now this is not only going to be a lot more affordable than buying the likes of an RTX 5050 or something like that, where that also has the best encoder for streaming. But this will actually help those that are wanting to have a basic PC to obviously run their streams, which means this is going to be a good plus side for a lot of streamers, or even those that are wanting to have a streaming system that is just built for streaming. And that's actually a good thing to have. So at the end of the day, this GPU does have two purposes, like gaming and streaming. And that is basically what this GPU is going to be marketed for. And not just that, but this GPU also has the lightest power consumption with around about 43 watts, which is really interesting. So this will actually also allow you to get a more affordable power supply for your own build. So there is so many uses for this GPU. And currently by the time of recording, this GPU is being speculated to be priced around about $150 to $200, which, I mean, that is a good deal. And I'll definitely say this GPU could be a good option for those that are new to the PC world, or just wanting to have a simple system that can do some simple tasks and can also give you a bit of an extra performance. But always, let me know in the comments below, do you think you'll recommend this type of GPU for those who are wanting to do streaming or like gaming? Or do you think there could be a different option out on the market? But I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next one. Be safe as always. Have a great day. Bye.